guys, I'm Laura Vitale and today, per my husband Joe's request, I'm going to share with you my recipe for his favorite mashed potatoes in the world. These are my red skin mashed potatoes full of chives, buttery, cheesy goodness. They are perfect for this time of year, a real hearty side dish, and really the most incredible mashed potato you can serve at your holiday table. They're full of flavor and I just absolutely love them. We're going to start, I'm just going to share it with you right now, show you the potatoes. These are some um, small little, little baby red skin potatoes. You can use the bigger ones if you want, you just have to cut them smaller. But the point is you want these little red skin potatoes. The skin's really nice and thin, so therefore when you mash them together you can leave the skin in there. Now if you don't want to leave the skin in, by all means peel your potatoes, it's completely fine. Either way they're going to be delicious. Now. What I want you to do is scrub them really, really well because you're going to eat the skin, so you want to make sure that that's taken care of. And you want to have a big pan with water ready. Now, the pot is not turned on yet. I didn't turn the water on yet because one of the biggest mistakes people make is when they cook potatoes to make mashed potatoes or to make any kind of potato dish is they took, take the potatoes and they put them in boiling water. What that's doing is cooking the outside and the inside's not cooked yet, so it's just got a really uneven cooking temperature. It's, so it's not going to be the best result. So you always want to make sure you start with cold water and then when you add everything together you turn it on and you cook them. So all I'm going to do is to my potatoes and I'm just going to quarter them because again these are just going to cook in no time. Now to the potatoes that are just a little bit bigger I'm going to cut them a little smaller. Um, I'm going to cut them a little bit more because what you want to make sure is that all of your potatoes are about the same size so they cook evenly. There's nothing worse than when you have one potato that's perfectly cooked and another piece that's raw. So you want to just take the extra time and again I'm cutting the bigger ones into about six pieces and then the smaller one, like this one's really small so I'm just going to cut it in half because you can see this half and the one we cut in three pieces, it's pretty much the same size. So you want to make sure that you keep that in mind uh, anytime you're cooking potatoes or any vegetable really, because um, you want them to cook evenly. The last of the potatoes. Now before you turn the water on, you want to make sure that you salt your cooking water because like you do with pasta, this is the only chance you're going to get to cook, to actually season the potatoes themselves before you go ahead and season your final dish. It's super, super important. Like if you've ever boiled potatoes with no salt in the water, they taste bland, they don't have very much flavor to them. Same thing with pasta. If you cook boil, if you boil pasta in plain water with no salt, they really taste like nothing. So it makes a huge difference. All I'm going to do is bring this to a boil, kind of take the heat down to about a simmer or so. I'm just going to let them cook for about 20 minutes or until they are fork tender, which is really important. You don't want these to be at all al dente. You want these to be really, really soft and tender to get that perfect mashed potato consistency. And when they are there, we will move on to the next step. My potatoes cooked in boiling water for about 25 minutes. You want to make sure they're really, really soft. And then all I did, I drained them and I put them back into the same pot. That is the trick. And I have the heat on low. And I'm just going to use my potato masher to mash this up. And over here, what I have is some unsalted butter and some cream cheese that are at room temperature, along with some chopped chives, some whole milk that I just warmed up in the microwave, and some good quality parmigiano, and of course you're going to have to season this with salt and pepper to taste. All I'm doing is I'm just mashing this up with my potato masher, and I'm going to take my knife, and little by little I'm going to add some butter and cream cheese and just mix them together as I mash them with the heat on low until you have the cream cheese and the butter all combined. My cream cheese and my butter are mixed in there really well. So now what I'm going to do, I still have the heat on low, I'm going to grate in a good amount of parmigiano. You know me, you know I like it, so I'm going to probably put in about a good three quarters of a cup or so. But you know, you can add as much or as little as you want. If you don't want to add any, by all means leave it out, but I mean I don't know why you'd want to. Go ahead and grate in a really good amount, looks good. And I'm going to add in my chopped chives that give it a really good sort of fresh, um, not really an onion bite, but just a little something that livens this up a little bit because it is really, really rich. Plenty of black pepper and salt. Make sure that you season this well because potatoes love, love salt. And even though we did boil them in the salted water, you want to make sure you season as well. And then just add a little bit of milk at a time and just stop until you reach your desired consistency of your mashed potatoes. And that is it. 
This is looking perfect for me. I used about three quarters of a cup of whole milk. It's creamy, I can smell the cheese. It's gonna be divine. I'm just gonna give myself a little taste because I do have people coming over for dinner, but I hardly could resist mashed potatoes ever. Mm. They're really hot. But it, there's a reason why this is my husband Joe's favorite mashed potato. And I think if you do give them a try, you'll understand why. They're sweet, yet they're buttery, and they're cheesy, and they've got that sort of bright onion from the chives. And I like that they're chunky from the skins that we left on there. To get the recipe, of course, go to LaraInTheKitchen.com. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. And when they are there, we will move on to the next step. Mashed potato time, mashed potato time, and I got turkey in the oven. We got an early Thanksgiving dinner, and we are so excited. And I got cranberry sauce in the fridge.